Uh, welcome back to Friday Night Overtime. We normally have Band of the Week here, but Mother Nature, like, really not cooperating tonight. It was raining. It was cold. Rickards Raiders, we were going to highlight you, but maybe next week. Yeah, I think so. I, I can't really blame them myself. I was drenched when we got back to the uh, My station. pants are still wet. Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> so let's funny. jump back across the state line in a big game for Thomas County Central. Region placement on the line for the Jackets. Central at Doherty, a win, and they are the three seed in 4A Region 1 standings. Fourth down for Central here on the Wildcat. Tyler Floyd taking the snap, goes to the outside, works the edge, and it's enough for a first down. That play sets up this. Sam Brown hitting it off to Floyd. He cuts up the middle and flies whoop, whoop. into the end zone. The Jackets are on the board first. Two-point conversion is good. They would lead Doherty 8-0, but uh, Doherty comes back in the second half. Doherty pulls off the win, 23-15 the final. In Dawson, Terrell County Green Wave sought to extend their current win streak as they played host to Seminole County. Open second quarter, Indians on the attack. Jaheim Jackson finding a little room. And he'll find a first down before being sworn. But that drive would stall late second, now still scoreless. Indians punting. That becomes trouble because Devontae James fields it and he has a lot of room to work. Go to the sideline. He'll run into a pack here. We kind of lose him. But when he emerges, he's in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Terrell County grabs the early 7-0 lead. Fourth quarter, more Green Wave. James barrels his way across the goal line and Terrell County wins 14 to 13. Florida High, they are in the playoffs in Class 3A. They're predicted as a three seed in Region 1. Seminoles hosting Swanee tonight. The Bulldogs are currently on the outside looking in. As always, Seminoles playing for Cam Brown. Four years yesterday, he's been gone making Super Cam proud tonight. Of 16-0 in the second quarter, Trey Donaldson, he's committed to play football and basketball at Auburn, dropping the snap, scrambling, making something out of nothing. Whoop. And hello! He might hurl. be running track now, Florida too. High gets the first down. Nothing coming of it, but uh, that was pretty. Making some pretty plays on defense, too. Ryan Knight coming up with the sack. Gobble. Bulldogs forced to punt, so Florida High going back on offense. P.J. Davis makes the tackle here, and this one stays 16 zip at the half. Florida High adds a few more in the final two quarters. 35-6, the final score. North Florida Christian is in and FAMU DRS is not. They two squaring off inside Bragg in their final game of the regular season. Eagles score first. Ash and Gainer on the keeper. Bahala Sam's all over him, making a stop. Him. Same drive, moving the ball here. Micah McCorvey fighting for yardage. Yardage gets the Eagles inside the 10 right here after a few moves. Keep then going. Gainer finishes the job. He's going to find a gap easy to get himself in. Eagles cruise tonight 40 to nothing over DRS. You talk about a must-win game, and for Childs tonight against Wakulla was a must-win game. They're currently 10th and 6A standings for Region 1. They need some other things to happen, but they had to win to have a shot. Wakulla, on the other hand, they're in no matter what. They're district champions, so six minutes left in the third quarter. Hayden Cleese handoff to Zamari and Smith, and he takes off like a rocket, making it look easy. No sign of slowing down. The extra point was good, 28-7. Eagles, next drive for the Eagles, just as good. Xavier Blake rushes through the defense, and he's going to put it some more points up for his offense. What a night for the War Eagles. They'll win big 42-7 to over the Timberwolves. So Leon High School is out. St. John Paul II, they are in in Class 2A. The Panthers just looking to boost their resume a little bit tonight. Can't Early hurt. in this one, Lions receiving the kickoff, but they cough it up, and the Panthers take over right near their end zone, and they're going to take advantage of that. Tremaine Hughes Jr. dropping back, decides to keep it himself. He runs around the defense and runs it into the end zone for six points. Panthers going for two. Hughes Jr. hands it to Leon Washington, and they convert on that attempt. St. John Paul II, they come out on top. Big win over Leon, 21-8. Lincoln Trojans here in 6A going on right now, hosting Mike Norvell in attendance on this one, hosting Trinity Christian under the Thursday night lights. First quarter, Lincoln trying to get on the board first. Perry Fisher to Christian Ducotor. Christian Ducatoro. There it is. Got it now. <laughs> they settle for a field goal. It's 3-0 in the end, but Trojans' defense relentless. The conquerors deep in their own territory, not going anywhere. The Trojans picking up six. Fisher pulling away, and Lincoln, they're going to be the big winners Thursday, 19-6. to Javon Petway, what a touchdown catch there. The second-ranked Florida State soccer team in the ACC tournament semifinals taking on Wake Forest tonight, and this one won in overtime. And how about the freshman coming in clutch? Maria Alagoa, the golden goal in OT. Seminoles, they win 2-1 to to advance to the ACC tournament title game. They will face number one Virginia Sunday 
at 1 o'clock. So if you're following along, South Georgia, Big Bend, done with high school football. Some of the teams we talked about tonight, not going to see any more for the rest of the year. Some of them we're going to be hoping to talk about for a long time, Dom. Yeah, I mean, the great thing is, is there's, there's teams that lost, but there's also going to be a ton of teams from our area that we're going to get to highlight right back here next Friday night, AP. Absolutely. So for Florida teams, the brackets come out on Sunday. So some of these teams on the cusp, we talked about records being on the cusp there. They'll have to see if they make it into the postseason on Sunday night. So a lot more to talk about over the next week. We have you covered as the playoffs begin in South Georgia and here in the Big Bend next Friday night. See ya.